I wanted to try and challenge myself for the Platinum Trophy in a way other than just playing a hard game. In a way that would challenge me by skill and physical prowess. So I decided to try and beat an Assassin's Creed game in under 24 hours in a single session. In fact, there's only a couple of AC games that actually can be beaten in this time frame. And those two are Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Liberation. I'd already played Assassin's Creed 2, so that wouldn't work. So it had to be Assassin's Creed Liberation, a game I'd never played before. So for this challenge, there is a few rules. Number one, 24 hours. Yeah. Pretty obvious that one. And number two, no sleep. I can't be one of those dudes who just picks up a game, plays it for a couple of hours in the evening, goes to sleep and wakes up and continues. Nah, 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 that's weak. We've got to do it without sleep. That's what cool kids do, right? Now the question is, do you think good old beta plat bro has what it takes? If so, make sure to comment with an eggplant. This way I know at least my viewers have big dick energy and it'll give me something to inspire to. Is this just a method to try and get more comments on the video? Yes. Without further ado, let's start the challenge. All right, so I'm sat here. It is half 10 on a Saturday morning, preparing myself to try and beat this game. 24 hours, that's the time. You can see the timer. Guides is 15 hours with YouTube, with Dexter, all these delays. I think it's still going to be close and it's going to be a long one, but I have lots of monsters that keep me going, so it's okay. Let's start this mofo. I'm losing precious time here already. Now, although this is a speed run, I've never played this game before and I didn't want to rush it, so I decided not to skip any of the cutscenes, unless the cutscene was boring. To get 100% synchronization, I have to do all of the optional missions. So, not only can I, I can't just play the game, I've also got to pay attention. What the fuck did you just say? Damn! It was hard the 18th century, apparently, for kids. Oh, it's right with age. That, f that fall aged us. 10 years. Ubisoft presents a game by Ubisoft. About Ubisoft for Ubisoft. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. 23 hours to get the platinum. Well, 24. 23 hours and 49 minutes to get the platinum. Alright. Jump. Woo! Oh. oh! Oh! Oh my god. Gotta do some spying. And one of the optional missions, apparently, is in the first optional objective is here. Ah, Taylor missions. Didn't they get rid of them after Assassin's Creed Black Flag? They, they were kind of like, we've had enough of these now. Right, avoid killing anybody. Oh, that's it. Okay, so I need to bribe a guard. This game has a unique premise, unlike other Assassin's Creed games, known as Personas, which are essentially just outfits. You have the Lady, Slave, and Assassin outfit, each with its own set of skills, which allows you to complete certain tasks and interact differently with the world and NPCs. Hi, guys. Take some dollar bills, let me through, man. It's a good premise, but having to do three clettable runs later on is not so fun. Hey, buddy. Look at me. Look at this wave. Thanks, buddy. Let me through. What a simp. So many simps in this game. He's following me around, though. It's a little weird. God, men. Show them a bit of attention and they don't leave you alone. God damn. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. No! Wait, I was charming you. I was charming you, you just changed your mind just because you wouldn't get any. There. Savage, bye. Oh, and my dress. My dress. That was savage. I don't think she's meant to be able to. I'm stuck. I'm stuck because she can't climb or anything. No. Oh, you motherfucker. All right, we're going to buy ourselves a dressing chamber. Apparently, that's what it's like in America. You just give someone some money and you can buy a house just for keeping your clothes in. I'm about to unlock my first trophy here, and I didn't realize the placement of the timer would be such a problem. My first trophy! My first dressing chamber, we're locked in now. Took 35, 7 minutes to get my first trophy. To complete the first sequence of the game, I was tasked with assassinating the governor and making sure I killed him with a musket, which was a little bit complicated. Okay, stealth in. Run! There's loads of them. What? I wanna... Oh no. I'm so screwed here. This isn't good for me right now. Alright, kill him with a musket. Yes, that must have been it. Now it's his first assassination. Doesn't look happy to be dying, does he? You would sacrifice the good of the colony to attempt our conspiracy, Gouverneur. I should ask you why. Naughty, naughty. Godspeed, Spider-Man. Godspeed, Avalyn. Ah, run! Just jump over. Sue! Nice. 
Did it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Full sink. Yes. All right. So. Ah, trophy. Complete sequence one. I was then in the bayou, which is the second main map in the game where I earned my next trophy for climbing some trees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, trophy, swamp queen. I think that's for doing so many tree parkours. And I'm here for it, I'm here for it. Shortly after this, I met my mentor, Agate, did some training, and then unlocked my first miscellaneous trophy for getting a kill with a poison dart. So shoot this bloke in the back. Pew. Trophy, death by poison. He's not dead yet, though. Oh, 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 he's struggling. He's, he's, he's... That man's dead. Agate, I have done as you asked. The imposter is dead. After some errands for Agate and, of course, lots of killing, I finished my first of many trips to the bayou and a completed sequence two. Sequence two completed. And it's taken me just under two hours. So if that continues... It's going to take me eight hours to beat the main story, and then there's a lot of cleanup to do. But I'm feeling hopeful right now that we're going to do this. We've got this. I was in back in New Orleans just for a moment before making our way to Mexico. But before that, I need a quick break. God damn! That was a sink point. Where was the hay? As I've already mentioned, it's time to take a little bit of a break. I've got to factor in these dog walks to keep decks going. So I'm going to take a 20 minute break. I'm going to leave the timer on, of course. And then we will be back to take on Mexico. We're in Mexico and on a slave camp. I've just spoke to a few slaves and they've all just told me that they are living their best lives. And I have a little feeling that that's, that is kind of not the full story. Well, I pick up this collectible. Nice. Mayan statue. I'll be taking me that. <clears throat> now let's press on a little bit further forward to the story we've done four hours so far and we are on a sequence four so you know what we're on the halfway point of the main story but there's gonna be a lot of side quests you know like i played assassin's creed 2 and i played this game very very close together and i have to say the worlds that ubisoft have built for these games even this one which was like a, a port is just beautiful so i'm gonna go get this viewpoint because we have to get all the viewpoints in the game for a trophy anyway so while i'm here i might as well you know do it plus get some clairables because there's clairables up here too apparently um or there's not but you know let's take in the scenery not bad not bad so it turns out they are doing shady stuff on this island after all who would have thought but that's okay, because I'm here to save you all. Useful you are. You remove those who would supersede me in rank. You find pieces of the prophecy disc, saving mm. me the effort. <laughs> if you weren't my enemy, I would take you for my friend. Our aims Classic in the Jones move. For all the we find the treasure, then they rock up and try and steal it. Perfect. Unless we can kill them all. So after the baddies Indiana Jones dust, I was now actually facing one of the hardest parts of the game, defeating this Templar boss without taking a single hit. Oh, wow! The guide actually recommends that you replay this level with all your gear later on, but I was on a time crunch, so I decided to try and do it first time, which probably ended up taking even longer than if I just replayed the entire level. Ah! New plan, I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna just run around. Whipping them. Whipping them. Oh, pow! Well, pow! Ah, haha! -ha. See? Don't expect that, were you? Uh, no! Oh, you. Why wouldn't it jump? This is taking longer than I thought. I'll be on this level. Six minutes already. Five minutes, but still. For one fight. Run! Run! Jump! Ah! Aha! Whip! Two dead! Three dead! Fuck! Where's this musket? Where's the musket? What are you going to do? Oh! The range! 
The range. Oh. Press counter there. Without a doubt, I press counter at the exact right time. But, you know, whatevs. 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 Whatever. This is the first time I've been able to pick up a musket in the whole game. Ah! That's how you meant to do it, apparently. Get a musket and shoot him at one shot him. That seriously took too long, but I feel quite accomplished now. Good, good little victory there. Sequence four, complete. Hell yeah. Halfway through the story now, in five hours. All right, all right, it's not so bad, that's not so bad. All right, quick update. We are six hours in now, and if I just get the trophies up, I have six of the trophies it's not that's not great um 13 overall completion and i'm 25 percent through the time allotted to beat the game so this i might not be able to do this and the time for those who care i started at half 10 it's now half past four in the afternoon so we've got another 18 hours and i'm going to be playing this i'm going to be pushing this into the early hours of the night without a doubt for this one i'm going to be so goddamn tired this will not be the last to see you. Be careful. Skipping forward, after a cute moment with mommy, I completed sequence six. There's a fleet management system built in the game, which I did really enjoy. You essentially just buy and sell produce from across different towns to turn a profit. There's a trophy tied owning eight ships, which was my next trophy. Then it was time to see a familiar face. Connor from Assassin's Creed 3, because we're in New York City, baby. N New York City. Where I like how it's tying into Assassin's Creed 3. That's... Very cool. Where is the man? The man of the hour. There he is! Connor? There he is! I'm Aveline de Grand Prix, your brother from New Orleans. Yes. Some boy. Achilles told me you would come. I seek a lawyer. Hi, Connor. Officer Davidson of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian regiment. That regiment passed through here. Look at the destruction they left. I just I love his suit way. so Don't much. I think it's carefully. gotta be the best assassin suit. In the whole franchise. Okay, I've got to climb up this waterfall in under a minute for the optional mission. I think. We climb. Oh, you're back! Hey, buddy. Hey, Connor. Let's go. We got to climb, climb the fort. We got to climb this frozen waterfall in a minute. I thought New York was going to be sunny. It's a bit icy up here. Oh, that's got to be a minute. That's got to be a minute. It was sick. We've actually only got a couple of optional quests left. Before we beat the main game, there's actually an extra part which you have to do for the whole story. Come on, Connor, I'll keep you alive. Follow me, I think. I don't know. Looks like dead end. Oh, this way. It's just the, just the assassins just running around killing people, doing assassins things. How cute. Come on, Connor, we've got to reach this bridge. It's really important that we reach the bridge. Because, you know, we've got less than 15 hours to get this plat now, Connor, so time is of the essence. Can you get across? Can I get across? We got. Apparently, I can't get across, Connor. Apparently, I can't get across. Throw him over! Yeah! Come get some! You as well! Over the ledge! I love throwing people over ledges. It's my signature move in every game. Come get some, bitch. Ah! Ah! And you as well. Oh, wait. Wrong way. Apologies. Underwhelming. Ah! Uh, oh. That's what you get, bitch. Travel safely. It's the arrival that concerns me. <laughs> then you are on the right path. Cool, Connor. Godspeed, look after yourself, bro. All the best. Trophy for beating sequence eight. I'm looking to see it now because I have moved the timer. So I can actually see the trophies now, which is which is a good start. Now, is that, there's not collectibles here, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think there is. Thank fuck for that. Back in New Orleans, I earned my first collectible trophy for buying all of the pocket watches, which are pretty darn expensive, which is why the fleet system is so important early on in the game. Ooh, clean me out that, bro. Really, really clean me out. Probably clean me out. I can't really afford to keep that. Oh, oh, oh! I got a trophy for it though, so it's fine. 
It's fine. The next trophy was one that had been annoying me quite a fair bit. It was to make an enemy kill five of their best buds. I'd already tried it a couple of times, but this time was the one. Yeah, go, bro. There's five of them. Come on. Come on. There's loads of them. You're getting wrecked, though, here. Apparently not. Go. He's killed three. This guy's on a riot. This guy is going for it. The guy in the white. Come on. He's on four. Come on. Get five. Come on, bro. Yeah. We did it. Finally. Third attempt. I think he's on for six. He's on, he's on for six. The final thing to do before beating the fake ending is to have it out with our mentor, Agate. Turns out, he's a bit of a wet wipe. Orcs. Pretty orcs that like. Then we got our Templar ending. Templar for life, bitches! It cannot be. I refuse to Followed shortly it. after by the game's true ending. What? Unless me? Me? I ain't done nothing. Oh no, what? Don't take any damage? Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. Alright, kill them all. One shot my mum in the head with an axe. God damn, that was beautiful. That was god damn beautiful. Oh, complete. Oh, okay, that's for doing all synchronizations. Happy days. I'm pretty sure I didn't actually kill all the citizens, you know. So I may have glitched this, which might not be great because there's no way I can replay this whole thing. Yeah, so that didn't pop, which means I definitely have missed something but i am thinking right now that i shouldn't have been able to beat the game without killing the citizen it shouldn't have let me do it but i didn't have a choice i literally got so far into it it just kind of auto played to get there so yeah now you're supposed to only be able to play through the true ending if you kill all of the npcs in the game called citizen ease when you kill them all it should unlock this fight with your mom but for some reason the game just allowed me to play the real ending without actually killing the citizens. So I was really confused and I did think I had a glitched trophy. Hey. Oh, please don't be glitched. Fuck. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I think that's the main, all the main story done. So it's taken eight hours, pretty much bang on, to beat the story and we're on 41%. So all we've got to do now is miscellaneous stuff and a load of collectibles so all three of the outfits have certain collectibles tied them which you can only get while having those equipped which is pretty annoying i have to say i've also got some sync points left to do so i think i'm just going to clear up the, the bayou first while i'm here and then see where i'm at after that i'm so relieved that that, that trophy popped so goddamn relieved so let the cleanup and race to the platinum commence. While doing the collectibles and Bayou, I fought and killed a lot of crocs and got the survivor trophy. I then had to complete the side mission for beating up infected people and I earned the Bayou fever trophy. Next was a predator trophy for killing someone from a tree with a dart while using eagle vision. We are on just about to hit 12 hours. So it's almost half 10 at night. I'm getting there slowly but surely. I think this might be the last outfit room. I'm hoping it is, which will give me a trophy. Um, it's It's been a slog. Um, we're getting there. Trophy, yeah, I do think it's doable. But I am getting pretty darn tired, I have to say. I've been sitting here pretty much about 11 hours of the last 12 hours. And I'm getting quite a bad hand. My hand is, like, cramping. And my hands are kind of starting to shake a little bit. Um, because I normally game, like, three hours a day, four hours at a push. But this has been um, pretty full on and I'm very much aware that it's half 10 at night now. I'm going to be going until the early hours of the morning. So I think I'm probably going to have to have another kind of monster to keep us going at this point. I then completed the final ship crew mission to get another trophy. And then another for completing all the assassinations. And after finding my last mushroom in the bayou, I unlocked the collector trophy, which is for all of the non-specific suit related collectibles. Yeah, still a lot of collectibles to go. Still in the bayou, using my sick new gun. What the fuck have you got in your hand? 
I freed the last slave and got the trophy for finishing that line of side missions. But after 14 hours, my brain was turning to mush and I was really struggling with some of the collectibles. And I cannot find this last goddamn coin, which makes me realize apparently it's either where I'm stood, here, or on the top. So it just happens to be at either side of the map, which takes easily, I want to say six or seven minutes to get from each point. So I spent 20 minutes running around this map again, because they're not there, which means I need to go back to New Orleans and then go through all of the seven collectible spots again, even though I'm pretty sure I've already checked them to see what the fuck is going on as to why I can't find this last coin. This is easily added on, this one coin, an hour and a half to this run. And I am getting a bit annoyed because I have now just hit 10 hours left. So I've been going for 14 hours straight, pretty much. All right, let's find this motherfucker. Ah, oh, it's just getting annoying. And my hand is like, this hand is like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like shaking because of the pain I've got in my finger right now. You. Ah! Ah, oh, found you, you bitch! Oh, it's here! It's that bloke down there, and I definitely, definitely, definitely had already done this one. I actually remember doing this one. I might, I might even have footage of me doing this one, but he's down there. Let's go get him. The time... I couldn't even find the trophies there. The time is this quarter past one in the morning, as you can see. 15 hours we've been going at this now, and I thought... I realised a few things. Firstly... There's actually a side set of uh, uh. so there's a side set of missions specifically for each suit, and that is the collectible persona specific side missions. I didn't read that properly, and I thought that was part of the collectibles. So I've just realised now that not only do I have to do the collectibles, there's also fifteen missions. They do take three to five minutes depending on, but they have to get there as well. So that's like another hour and a half probably just doing them. And I'm going to try and get some of these easy ones, or not easy ones, the last few miscellaneous kills. So I'm going to try and get killing fifteen guards. Five guards. Five guards. In 15 seconds, using the sugar cane machete. And then I might try and get the whip one as well. And there's also one for using the human shield. So I'm going to try and work on them next. Let's go! Kill! Two! Three! Four! Uh, five! Six! Yeah, bitch! Um, I am the knight. Don't know why I said that. Yes, human shield. Aha! Trophy! And now, I'm going to kill you all. Oh, well. Actually, I'm just going to kill two of you to celebrate. Woo! Right. So, I got like this. Huh? Well, all right. Just need to keep doing that, apparently. Keep powering through. That's got to be nearly all of them. Fuck, God's sake. It's actually... Quite an easy trophy. I thought I was going to have to reload the checkpoint, but clearly not. I can just do this like a jillion times. How is this not everybody? I've like killed so many. I will go. Hangman. As you may be able to tell, I was getting pretty tired at this point and my hands were definitely aching, feeling things I'd never felt before. But the show goes on. I then donned the lady outfit and after spending the next hour completing her missions and racking up kills with Umbrella, I got a trophy. And then the trophy for pickpocketing 5,000 money. At this point, we were 16 hours in, and it was it was an experience. Let me tell you a little bit how it feels like. It feels like your eyes just keep watering. <laughs> they just keep on watering, and your hands start to hurt. And then as well, you get incredibly warm, even though it's not even hot in this room. So yeah, we're almost at the end now. It's half two in the morning, and I have two trophies left for doing... The remaining voodoo doll things and doing the last two levels for the slave suit i probably could have had a little three hour four hour nap in the day rather than just play this entire thing straight but here we are it's been a long journey but it's actually been a really good game though this hasn't taken away from the fact the game is really good it's it's really good and fun it's just the fact that maybe not doing it maybe doing it in one sitting isn't isn't the best way to do it when you've been gaming for almost 17 hours looking around for fucking clues is firstly somehow incredibly hard but also incredibly infuriating and definitely not fucking fun so my voice is gone as well all right up up da, 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 da. <laughs> cool.
Let's go. I'll just ignore the crocodile. I don't get time for it. Crocodile, sorry, croco, croco. We've got other things to do, like. Ah, ah, secret last, motherfucker. So. All right, so with this last voodoo doll, I will have the platinum trophy. The last trophy in the game. Let's get it. It's been tough purely because of the grind, the non stop gaming, but it's actually a really fun game. Persona Collector and Julius Caesar. 100%. And it took us 16 hours and 15 minutes to get the platinum straight. 2.45. And our first trophy, six minutes past 11 yesterday. 2.45 now. This has been one hell of a journey. This has been one hell of a challenge. It's been fun, it's been tiring, and it's been hard, not because of the difficulty of the game, just purely because of the amount of time commitment and the time pressure, but I have enjoyed it. If you'd like to see me do it again, don't forget to like the video.